Most of us grew up learning there are three main types of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Today that has all changed. Microsoft has unveiled a new quantum computer that is 10 times more powerful than Google's Willow quantum computer. This breakthrough has sent shockwaves through the tech industry and the scientific community, as it represents not only a leap in quantum computing but a significant advancement in the potential applications of this cutting-edge technology. Microsoft's new quantum computer promises to revolutionize fields ranging from artificial intelligence and cryptography to drug discovery and climate change solutions. But what exactly does this mean for the future of technology and science, and why is it such a big deal? Quantum computing is one of the most exciting frontiers in the world of technology, and Microsoft has been at the forefront of this race for years. However, this new revelation raises the stakes in a way that no one could have predicted. So let's dive into what makes this new quantum computer so powerful, how it compares to Google's Willow quantum computer, and what it could mean for the world in the coming years. The quantum computing arms race. Google, Microsoft, and the race to superiority. Before we go into the specifics of Microsoft's new breakthrough, it's important to understand where we are in the world of quantum computing. Quantum computing isn't just the next step in computing technology, it's an entirely new paradigm that operates based on the principles of quantum mechanics. Unlike classical computers, which use binary bits to represent information as either 0 or 1, quantum computers use qubits, quantum bits, that can represent information as 0, 1, or both simultaneously due to the quantum principle of superposition. This allows quantum computers to process an exponentially greater amount of information in a fraction of the time. However, building a functional quantum computer is no easy feat the technology is still in its early stages, and there are many hurdles that need to be overcome before quantum computers can be widely used. Major tech companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft have been vying to build the first truly powerful quantum computers. Each company has made impressive strides, but the race has largely been defined by Google's Willow quantum computer and Microsoft's response with their new breakthrough. Google made headlines in 2019 with the release of Sycamore, a quantum computer that achieved quantum supremacy, the point at which a quantum computer can solve a problem faster than the most powerful classical computers. Google's Willow quantum computer, which is their most recent model, was designed to take things to the next level, offering unprecedented processing power and solving more complex problems than ever before. But now, Microsoft has taken the game to a whole new level with their announcement of a quantum computer that is 10 times more powerful. What makes Microsoft's quantum computer 10 times more powerful? So, what exactly makes Microsoft's new quantum computer so much more powerful than Google's Willow? To answer that, we need to dive deeper into the technology that powers Microsoft's new machine and how it compares to Willow. One of the key differences between Microsoft's quantum computer and Google's Willow is the underlying quantum computing architecture. While Google's Willow is based on superconducting qubits, Microsoft's breakthrough uses a different approach, topological qubits. This distinction is incredibly important as it impacts the performance, stability, and scalability of the quantum computer. Topological qubits versus superconducting qubits. At the heart of Microsoft's new quantum computer is a revolutionary type of qubit called the topological qubit. Topological qubits are based on a concept introduced by Nobel laureate Michael Stone and physicist Xia Gang, which involves using the topology of quantum states to protect the information encoded in the qubit. This protection is critical for maintaining the integrity of quantum computations, as quantum information is notoriously fragile and easily disrupted by noise or errors. Topological qubits are unique because they are less susceptible to errors compared to traditional qubits used in superconducting systems. In superconducting qubits, the quantum states are highly sensitive to environmental noise, which can cause decoherence and disrupt the computation. This is one of the main challenges faced by quantum computing researchers, as maintaining stable qubits is essential for performing reliable calculations. In contrast, topological qubits rely on non-abelian anions, exotic particles that have the ability to store quantum information in a way that is inherently protected from local noise. This makes topological qubits far more stable and error-resistant than traditional qubits. The stability of these qubits means that Microsoft's quantum computer can perform calculations with much greater accuracy and reliability than previous systems. This is one of the reasons why Microsoft's quantum computer is able to achieve 10 times the computational power of Google's Willow. Error correction and scalability. Another major advantage of Microsoft's quantum computer is its potential for error correction and scalability. As quantum computers scale up to larger systems, the number of qubits required to perform meaningful calculations increases exponentially. 
However, as the number of qubits increases so does the likelihood of errors. Quantum error correction is a crucial area of research, and Microsoft has made significant progress in this field with their topological qubits. Error correction in quantum computing is vastly different from error correction in classical computing. In classical systems, errors can typically be corrected by making multiple copies of the data and using redundancy to identify and correct mistakes. However, quantum systems are governed by the no-cloning theorem, which states that quantum information cannot be copied. This presents a unique challenge for quantum error correction, as even the slightest disturbance in the quantum state can lead to catastrophic errors. Topological qubits offer a solution to this problem by encoding quantum information in a way that is protected by the topology of the system. This means that errors are less likely to corrupt the information, allowing for more reliable computations. As a result, Microsoft's quantum computer can scale to larger systems with more qubits while maintaining a high level of accuracy. Google's Willow, on the other hand, is based on superconducting qubits, which are more prone to errors and require complex error correction techniques. While Google has made great strides in this area, the inherent instability of superconducting qubits limits the scalability of their system. Microsoft's approach, using topological qubits, offers a path to more robust, scalable quantum systems, making their quantum computer 10 times more powerful. Entanglement, the quantum networking phenomenon. Another crucial principle behind quantum computing is entanglement. When two or more qubits become entangled, their states become interdependent. This means that changing the state of one qubit will immediately affect the state of another, even if they are physically separated by vast distances. Entanglement is a phenomenon that Albert Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance, because it defies the classical understanding of how information can travel. Entanglement is particularly useful for quantum computing because it allows qubits to work together in ways that classical bits cannot. For example, an entangled quantum system can help facilitate faster problem solving because the qubits are able to share and process information instantaneously, increasing the speed of computations. However, entanglement also poses a challenge. Maintaining stable entangled states is difficult, as qubits are highly sensitive to environmental interference. This is where topological qubits come into play. Because they rely on more robust and protected quantum states, topological qubits are less prone to decoherence or error due to environmental factors, thus improving the ability to maintain and use entanglement for large-scale quantum computations. A closer look at Microsoft's topological qubits. Now that we've discussed the basic principles of quantum mechanics, let's dive deeper into why Microsoft's topological qubits are such a significant breakthrough. What are topological qubits? Topological qubits are based on a concept known as topological protection. In quantum mechanics, particles can exist in different quantum states, but these states are often fragile and susceptible to disturbances from the environment. This fragility can cause quantum information to degrade or be lost, which presents a challenge for building scalable, reliable quantum computers. Topological qubits are different. They rely on special types of particles known as non-abelian enians. These particles have unique properties that allow them to be braided in a way that stores quantum information. When you braid these particles, the quantum state is protected by the topology of the braid. This means that any disturbance in the environment is less likely to disrupt the quantum information, making the system more robust and error-resistant. To understand why topological qubits are so special, it helps to think about traditional qubits as delicate objects. Imagine you have a ball on a flat surface, and you need to keep it in a specific position. A slight push in any direction could cause the ball to roll off the surface. That's how a normal qubit behaves. It's highly sensitive to its surroundings, and even the slightest interaction can disrupt its state. Now, imagine the ball is sitting at the bottom of a bowl. The bowl shape protects the ball from rolling off and you can nudge the ball, but it will always return to the lowest point in the bowl. Topological qubits behave more like this ball in the bowl. They are inherently protected from disturbances allowing them to maintain their quantum state for longer periods of time and thus perform more reliable computations. How Microsoft Uses Topological Qubits Microsoft's approach to topological qubits is based on their own proprietary design. Their system relies on a specially engineered material called a topological insulator. Topological insulators are materials that have unique properties on their surface, where electrons can move freely, but they are insulated on the inside. When these materials are combined with other quantum materials, they give rise to the conditions necessary for the formation of non-abelian enians. 
Microsoft has made significant strides in creating the experimental conditions needed for topological qubits to work. Their team has been able to control these exotic particles and manipulate them to create stable, error-resistant qubits. While the technology is still in the early stages, the potential of topological qubits is immense. By using these qubits, Microsoft has essentially solved one of the most significant challenges in quantum computing, making the system more stable and scalable. Comparing Microsoft's topological qubits to Google's superconducting qubits. Google's Willow quantum computer, based on superconducting qubits, is one of the most advanced quantum computers in the world. However, as we discussed earlier, superconducting qubits come with limitations, especially when it comes to error correction and scalability. Superconducting qubits rely on circuits made from superconducting materials, which can conduct electricity without resistance at extremely low temperatures. These qubits are created by manipulating electromagnetic fields to control the quantum state of the superconducting circuits. While superconducting qubits have made significant progress, they are still highly sensitive to noise and interference. The quantum information encoded in these qubits can easily be disrupted, causing decoherence and errors in the computations. This has been one of the major hurdles in the development of large-scale quantum computers. Microsoft's topological qubits, in contrast, offer a more robust solution. Because they are topologically protected, they are less susceptible to environmental interference, making them inherently more stable. This stability allows Microsoft's quantum computers to handle more qubits and scale up more effectively without sacrificing reliability. It also means that Microsoft's quantum computers are better equipped to handle complex algorithms and larger data sets, which is why they are 10 times more powerful than Google's Willow. In practice, however, it's important to note that the race between Google and Microsoft is far from over. While Microsoft's breakthrough is certainly impressive, Google has made tremendous progress with its own quantum computing research. Google's Willow is expected to continue to improve, and they are exploring new ways to enhance the stability and scalability of their superconducting qubits. Both companies are making strides, but for now, Microsoft's topological qubits appear to have the edge when it comes to error resilience and scalability. Real-world applications of quantum computing Now that we've explored the technical aspects of quantum computing, let's turn our attention to the real-world applications of this groundbreaking technology. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize nearly every sector of society, from healthcare and energy to finance and cybersecurity. With the increased computational power of Microsoft's new quantum computer, these applications are closer than ever to becoming a reality. Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning One of the most exciting applications of quantum computing is in artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning. AI systems rely on processing vast amounts of data and identifying complex patterns. Traditional computers are limited in how quickly they can process this data, but quantum computers can handle massive data sets much more efficiently. Microsoft's quantum computer, with its enhanced processing power, can accelerate the development of more advanced machine learning algorithms. This could lead to significant breakthroughs in areas such as natural language processing, computer vision, and autonomous systems. For example, quantum AI could be used to analyze medical data more quickly and accurately, leading to faster diagnoses and personalized treatment plans. Moreover, quantum computing could enable the development of quantum machine learning algorithms that outperform classical ones in certain tasks, such as optimization problems and pattern recognition. These advancements could lead to more intelligent systems that can learn from data in ways that are currently impossible with classical computing. Drug discovery in healthcare. Another area where quantum computing holds immense potential is in drug discovery and healthcare. The process of discovering new drugs is incredibly time-consuming and expensive, often taking years to bring a new drug to market. Quantum computers can model molecular interactions with incredible precision, allowing researchers to identify potential drug candidates much faster. With the power of Microsoft's quantum computer, researchers could simulate the behavior of molecules at a level of detail that was previously unattainable. This could lead to the discovery of new treatments for diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and autoimmune disorders. By simulating the interactions between drugs and the human body, quantum computers could also enable personalized medicine, where treatments are tailored to the specific genetic makeup of individual patients. Cryptography and Cybersecurity Quantum computing also has profound implications for cryptography and cybersecurity. Many of the encryption systems used to secure online communications today are based on mathematical algorithms that are difficult for classical computers to break. 
However, quantum computers have the potential to solve these problems much faster than classical systems, posing a threat to the security of sensitive data. Microsoft's quantum computer could be used to develop new cryptographic systems that are secure against quantum attacks. These systems would rely on the unique properties of quantum mechanics, such as quantum key distribution, to create encryption methods that are practically unbreakable, even by powerful quantum computers. Climate change and environmental solutions. Quantum computing could also play a critical role in solving some of the world's most pressing environmental challenges. The complex interactions in climate systems, as well as the behavior of chemical reactions involved in energy production and carbon capture, are difficult to model accurately with classical computers. Microsoft's quantum computer could simulate these processes with much higher precision, enabling scientists to develop more effective strategies for combating climate change. From improving renewable energy technologies to optimizing carbon capture and storage methods, quantum computing has the potential to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the effects of global warming.